How's it going everybody? Sebastian back again with another set of Lego Disney minifigures. I cannot wait to see what we got. We've got five more, hopefully. We get five individual ones, and that'll put us a little closer to completing the set. With trusty scissors in hand, let's get started, and we'll take the guy right at the top. Let's see what we have. Okay, bag number one. No whammies, no whammies. Kids, if you don't know what a whammy is, ask your parents about an old game show. It is the Cheshire Cat. Oh, there's his tail at the bottom there. Let's get started. Alrighty, guys, we have the Cheshire Cat, and I actually really, really like this figure. It's another figure with the kid's legs, but the recognizable silhouette of his head. He's got that very bizarre head shape that I actually like. And the tail is very, very, very cool. I love all the new additions to a lot of these Lego minifigures from the full body painted pieces, everything. It's been really awesome. I love this. It's going to go awesome with Alice. Let's move on to bag number two. Alrighty, bag number two. Let's see if we can keep a streak going. Even though we haven't started a streak yet, we have... Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. I have been waiting to get this figure. This is really, really cool. Looks like I've got everything out of the bag. Let's get to building. Buzz Lightyear is finally complete, and he's easily my favorite of the bunch. All the fine detailing, like his laser gauntlet, the detailing in his exosuit, the wings, the jetpack, even the dome, even though that does not close fully all the way to the smile on his face. And he's got the Star Command logo dead center on his suit. This is a really, really beautiful figure. And the only thing I'm sad about is that there's no Woody to go along with him. Hopefully, we'll get him in the series too. Let's move on to the next bag. All right, it's another thick one. Hopefully, I didn't uh, double up on Buzz. Let's see what we've got. All right, nice and easy. Straight through the top. Get that out of my way. Come on, who are you? Who are you? Ooh, Ursula. All righty. Oh, that's sick. Okay, I've been waiting to get an Ursula. Maybe I'll get lucky. I've got an Ariel in this set, too. Look at that. Trident's badass. Tridents are always awesome. Let's get to building. This is awesome. I'm going to say this is definitely number two to Buzz Lightyear. This is Ursula, of course, from The Little Mermaid. And she is pitch perfect, pun intended. I love King Trident's trident, the Nautilus shell necklace that contains Ariel's voice. And I love the Bride of Frankenstein stripes going up her white hair. This is great. And I love that the body, the upper torso fits right in to the uh, tentacles of the Kraken, of the sea witch that is Ursula. Who would have ever thought? that Divine would be a Lego minifigure. And if you don't know who Divine is, that is the drag queen that Ursula is based on. Another fun Disney fact. This is great. This is really, really great. All right, let's keep the streak going. No doubles on this run. Come on, number four, no doubles. Do a no double run. Is that a thing? It's a thing now, hashtag no double run. Okay, here we go. Ooh, oh, oh, it's Stitch. Oh, so, all right, here we go. Okie dokie, Stitch. This makes me very, very happy. I love Lilo and Stitch. It's one of the more adorable of the films, and I'm super sad that there's no Lilo to go with Stitch this set. But no worries, we can get him built really quick. With Stitch complete, this figure is absolutely adorable. Stitch is one of my favorite little Disney monsters, and Lilo and Stitch is an incredibly endearing film and I'm so happy to see other people love it and especially when you go on the uh, small world ride at Disneyland there's a little Lilo and Stitch when you get to the Pacific Islands. This is really really cool really fun I think they captured the essence of Stitch. The face is absolutely adorable. Let's move on to bag number five the last bag. We're doing really good on this run. Let's see if we can pull it off. Come on. Alrighty, it's another one, so I'm hoping I didn't double up on, like, Maleficent or Buzz or Ursula. What is that? It is a seashell, and that means we're going back under the sea, pun intended again, hashtag puns, with Ariel. Oh, no. Gotta catch that piece. This 
is really, really cool. Oh, and there's the gem that I presume goes inside the seashell. Let's get to building Ariel. The fifth and final figure, the Little Mermaid, is finally assembled, and I'm really, really punny today. And I have no idea why. I guess I'm just happy that I got no doubles this run. I'm super stoked about that. This looks great. The hair actually is my favorite part of this piece. I mean, the mermaid tail is awesome too, but there's a certain weightlessness that her hair has in the film that uh, it's given a certain sort of uh, body underwater and presence, and it just looks really good, and it comes through in this figure. She's got her seashell bra, and of course she's got a clam with a pink ruby in the center. This looks really, really good. And I'm loving these larger based figures. This is really nice. This is, I actually am really, really digging everything they're doing with this set. I love it. Let's check out what they all look like together, side by side. Now on to our quick recap. We've got Buzz Lightyear. Hey, Buzz, the uh, camera's this way, buddy. We've also got the Treasure Cat, Ursula, Stitch, and Ariel. I am super stoked. I got no doubles this set, and that leaves me two figures that I need left. I need Minnie Mouse and Donald Duck. So fingers crossed, in the last episode, I'll be able to complete all 18 of these figures, and we'll do one big group shot of them all together. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will catch you next time.